a legal rebuke for Hamilton County Juvenile Judge Tracy Hunter in a dispute with nine on your side. It involved the August 2012 cases of six juveniles who beat and badly injured a North College Hill man. This is the legal document the First District Court of Appeals issued Christmas Eve, and its message is clear and simple. This court decision today merely says, Judge Hunter, you have to follow the law. At issue is access to Judge Tracy Hunter's courtroom. In September 2012, Nine on Your Side applied to cover the North College Hill case. Judge Hunter allowed the coverage but imposed restrictions on naming the defendants, videotaping them above the waist, showing their parents in court, and taking any video of the lawyers without their permission. A judge cannot do that under the law in Ohio without first having a hearing, hearing evidence, and making those findings that weigh the competing interests. The appeals court found there were neither hearings nor findings then, nor later when the judge issued further prohibitions in February and March of this year. The court said Judge Hunter issued a third application to WCPO for access in March. The court said the March application contained a threat to bar WCPO personnel from Hunter's courtroom if the station didn't sign the order, even if the employees from WCPO were there without cameras or recording equipment. This decision today clearly says Judge Hunter cannot require WCPO to sign her applications before just to merely cover the proceedings with a pen and a piece of paper. The appeals court in granting WCPO's request to block Judge Hunter's prohibitions says her actions were unauthorized under Ohio law. It prevented her from imposing future restrictions without the due process of holding hearings and issuing findings. And Monica Diaz says the ruling affirms the value of media in any courtroom representing the public's interests. If the public is not allowed into the courtroom, then judges can, can run roughshod over the system. We tried without success tonight to reach Judge Hunter through her lawyers for comment. The judge does have the right to appeal to the Ohio Supreme Court.